morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Ingram Jones, and again, I have the white rhino, Dave Allen. The right, day Ingram, how before his fight. How are we doing, Dave? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm replacing Sky Sports at the moment. Yeah, I know, I know. We, uh, me and you spend more time talking to each other than uh, I spend speaking to anyone else. Okay, well, that's good. I hope that I get the exclusives when you actually... Uh, after this fight? Yeah, yeah, when when I make it, Ingram. When you make it, you're making it, mate. You're making it, you're making you're making headway. I'm on my way. I'm back on my way now, so right. it's good. So, you've got a fight tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, uh, Doncaster Dome. Um, just found out on the first fight on, so hopefully everyone will get there, really, and, um, you know, it'll be busy. Um, just a four-round fight. Been out for 15 months. Uh, got a tough opponent, so, you know, we should get some rounds in. Four rounds. Was there any reason why you didn't make it six or eight rounds? We was we was uh, booked in for Paul Butlin right. um, for six rounds. Pulled out of a cut, um, and we 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 had two weeks to go. There were no real English opponents out there, so we we drafted a European opponent, and um, you know four rounds is is really is what they do. So that's that's kind of what we got stuck with. So the opponent you've got. Uh, Jindrik Vilecki, he's, he's had 53 fights and only been stopped once. Um, he's been stopped a few times on cuts, but he's only been stopped once, um, you know, through punches. So, And, okay. he, and he's, he's won 18 of his 19 fights by a knockout, but he's a career light heavyweight cruiserweight, so, you know, he's very tough. So, But Huey Fury fought him? Yeah, Huey Fury fought him last time on Spike, and uh, he, he went the distance, so... You know, he must be tough. He must be. I've seen a bit of him. You know, he's, he's skillful. He's tough. He's experienced. But you know, um, you know, he's a little undersized to be honest. But um, it, it should be. It's, it's, if I get him out of there, you know, I'll have done well. So, what does it feel like now? You know, 15 months out of the ring, you're getting back in the ring now. Tomorrow's. The, what, what, what's going through the mind? Your butterflies or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's 15 months is a long time to be out of the ring, but you know, don't feel like. Doesn't feel like two minutes, um, and you know it's not the most taxing opponent to come back to. It's a nice fight to come back to, and it's it's in my um, hometown. So um, I'm just really looking forward to it because after this fight, then then we're going to get really serious and, and get cracking on. You have to perform in this fight, correct? I have to win this fight. I have to win this fight. Like I have to win every fight, but if I win this fight, you know, and then and then the next fight looks like it's going to be live on on TV uh, for a title so you know then that's when that's when I have to perform okay so in terms of now going back in the ring getting hit again on the chin going through all those things that, are, are those things that go through your mind I mean sparring is one thing because you've been sparring all around the world but going back in the ring and actually going to fight and getting hit back on the chin again for a living yeah it's different because I mean there's, there's nothing worse than getting it with 10 hours gloves um, you know, it's a different story. Sparring is completely different. Um, but tomorrow night, I won't, I won't be, I won't be getting hit. You know, that kind of caliber opponent, you know, shouldn't be able to lay a glove on me. So it's just about getting back in and getting used to the atmosphere, really, before before I fight um, in October. That's all it is. This is just about getting back in the ring and getting back, getting back used to the atmosphere. So, what makes you feel so confident about this particular fight? Um, a few things really. Um, like I said, I'm going to completely honest about it. Um, he's not the most taxing of opponent. You know, he's very tough, and he's and if I stop him, I'm only the second man to stop him in 54 fights, which shows how tough he is. Um, I'm confident because you know I'm I'm rated the 10th best ever in Britain, um, so I have to be pretty good. Um, so tomorrow, you know, there's no pressure. There's no pressure at all. The the only pressure is. That like I'm putting on myself to get him out of there. Okay, okay. So you say after this fight, you've got a, a title fight coming up. Do you know any more details, or is that kind of to be kept secret for now? It's it's to be kept quiet, but it, it's going to be on a on a world title undercard, uh, pretty local, and it's going it's going to be for a title against um, uh, another decent name in the British heavyweight division. Oh, that's good. So you you you're feeling good about it. Yeah, I'm pretty confident about that fight. I'm more confident about the fight coming up after this. Um, you know, because this fight, you know, I'm, I'm up for it and I'm excited. But there's, you know, and 
you know, when I when I get the next fight on TV, it's going to be in a big arena. Um, you know, I, I need them. I need things like that to be able to perform to my best. To be fair, you do look in good shape, um, Dave. But are you in good shape? Yeah, I'm weighing. Um, I think I'm going to weigh in probably seventeen ten. Um, you know, I'm still probably a stone over where I, where I should be or could be. Um, but for this fight, I've only I've had eight weeks of training and I've dropped two and a half stone. So, right. you know, that, that's that's more than enough for four rounds. Right. So you've got no problems there. Okay. Um, in terms of this fight and you moving forward from this fight afterwards, is there any way you could overlook your opponent? No, no. Um, it's gonna go in there. You know, it's just it's just a fight. Every fight's just a fight, isn't it? So, just gonna go out there and just do what I always do. I'm gonna go out and enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna do some pretty ridiculous things as well. Um, you know, put my hands behind my back and, and talk, talk to people in the second row and stuff. That's just kind of what I do. Um, so it'll just be the same. I'm the same whether it's a big fight or a four rounder at Doncaster Dome. You know, I'm going with the, with the same attitude and 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 take it the same way. Now, yesterday you made a statement all. Last week you talked about your chin and having the best chin in the heavyweight division. Now, now I have to come back to you about this because um, somebody said to me, oh, he's not been off his feet since he was 18 years old. Yeah. Is that true? That is true, yeah. As an 18-year-old, um, after my first amateur fight, I was weighing about 13 stone and I got I got dropped by a professional cruiserweight. Um, so, yeah, that's I'm going to be honest about it. Uh, and that was the best thing that happened, you know. I thought I was untouchable, but I am now untouchable. I'm gonna say that again now. Um, you know, I've sparred all the best fighters in the world: Klitschko, Joshua, Fury, all of them. You know, I've not been hurt once. I've been hurt once in my entire time in boxing, um, and it fills me with confidence knowing that I can't, I can't be rendered unconscious. That is great help. What's the best thing you've learned over the 15-month period you've been out? Um, the best thing I've learned is probably that you don't get paid if you don't box. That's um, that's definitely true. But um, you know, patience. I've just been patient. Just waited my time. You know, I've not. I've, I've kept myself busy. I've been sparring over in Austria with Klitschko, Poland, Spielka. You know, I've been all over the place sparring and learning. You know, I've not been. I've not just been sat doing nothing. I've been out 15 months, but I've, I've still been doing bits of training. I've been sparring with the best fighters in the world. And. Um, you know, it's, it's all, it's all, it's it's here now anyway. So, so that's that fifteen months that's gone now. We're we're, we're here and, and we're ready. And your new promoter, manager, promoter. Yeah, Steffi Bull. Um, you know, is is I've known him. He's known me since I was a kid. Really, he's a good friend of my dad's. Right. So I've known him. I sparred with him when I was about fourteen. I'd never even boxed before. I went up to the gym and he bust my nose. Um. So yeah, we go back quite a long way, and um, you know, we've got a good relationship anyway, and um. You know, hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna have a good working relationship too, and uh, it's got off to a good start anyway. What's his vision for you, Dave? Do you know what his vision is for Dave? Allen? I think his vision is uh, he sees me being the man to beat Anthony Joshua and going on to um, going on to going on to massive things, and you know, that's 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 the dream. You know, that's 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 what we want. Well, okay, I think we'll touch in after your fight to hear how the fight went. Do you know if anybody's going to be recording the fight by any chance? Um, I'm not really, I'm not really sure, you know, hopefully, or hopefully not, you know, it, it's quite nice that no one's actually seen me, it, it, it doesn't give opponents a chance to have a look at me, and, um, you know, like I say, the one after, you know, hopefully live on, live on TV, you know, and then people will get to see what the fuss is all about, and I can really get myself into a position for a, for a, a really big fight. Dave Allen, thank you so much for talking to Bayloric TV. Thanks a lot, Ingram, anytime.